According to the Bank for International Settlements (BIS), for the first half of 2019, the total notional amounts outstanding for contracts in the derivatives market was an estimated 640 trillion dollars. Now, derivative is just a big word created by Wall Street to simply mean a financial security with a value that is reliant upon or derived from an underlying asset or group of assets. In other words, it's trading a thing that represents the price movements of another thing. Now, the most common underlying assets for derivatives are stocks, bonds, commodities, currencies, interest rates, and market indexes. So if derivatives simply require two or more parties to transact based on the price of an asset, well, DeFi has all the money Legos it requires to rebuild the derivatives market, but in a permissionless, trustless, peer-to-peer -peer manner. In other words, better. The most well-known name to pioneer derivatives trading in DeFi is Synthetix. Now, launched in late 2018, Synthetix aims to be the backbone for derivatives trading in DeFi, allowing anyone, anywhere, to gain on-chain exposure to a vast range of assets. But what does that mean? Well, Synthetix enables traders in DeFi to trade synths, which are over-collateralized derivatives of commodities like oil and gold, equities and indices like the FTSE 100 and Nikkei 225, Forex like JPY, CHF, Euros and Aussie dollars, and cryptocurrencies including those not on Ethereum like BNB, XRP, and yes, even our old friend TRX. Tron! You can go long or short with any of these asset classes, but what Synthetix is working to enable is much, much bigger. Imagine connecting your Ethereum wallet in one click and then you suddenly have access to trading Google or Apple stocks. What was once considered a fantasy where stock markets would be rebuilt on blockchains is now here. It's being accelerated by the reality that DeFi may just provide an alternative to the New York Stock Exchange, the Dow Jones, and more. Now, this might sound simple to those of us who have access to trading platforms already with these stocks, but for many across the globe, the ability to gain exposure to genuine blue chip stocks and asset classes would actually be life-changing. Now, we won't have time to cover it today, but another notable project enabling DeFi developers to build synthetic assets is UMA, or Universal Market Access. And you can check them out at umaproject.org. You've been watching DeFi 101. Do be sure and check out the other videos in this series and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos as they drop. And above all, stay safe out there.